Hey guys, welcome back for another tutorial. I got so many great responses on my talk through tutorial. I thought it would be really cool if I did another one. And I was thinking in light of all the uh, graduations coming up, what better way than to do a graduation makeup tutorial? So whether you're going to a graduation for someone else or it's your graduation, this is something that you can definitely wear. It's going to be more of a um, like neutral type of style. So I won't chat too much. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and let's get started. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start by priming my eyes. I'm going to use the Smashbox 24 hour uh, photo finish photo finish shadow primer. And it's been my go-to for such a long time. Like, I've never had any problems with creasing or anything like that. And I have pretty oily lids. So this is just like a godsend for me. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm taking my Tartlet in Bloom palette. And this is just such a gorgeous, like, neutral palette. It's got some shimmer, some matte, perfect for a classy graduation look. So first off, I'm gonna go into this uh, shimmer shadow called Rocker. And I'm just laying it down right at the base. It's such a pretty like shimmer color too. It's gorgeous. And then I'm gonna go in with a transition color, Rebel. It's like a lighter mauve pink. And I'm just gonna blend that in right over this shimmer. And really like the key to eye makeup, you guys, is just seriously blend it out. You don't have to do anything like complicated. All you really need is enough patience to blend. I'm just gonna kind of casually flick it out. And then I'm gonna go into Leader, and this is a darker, much darker red color. Now I'm going into Firecracker, which is kind of like a copper bronze. And I'm going in on the outer edge to give this light shimmer color some more dimension. So that way, pretty much the light shimmer color rocker and firecracker are gonna like blend together. So before I finish my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in and do my foundation and concealer and all that stuff, and then go in and attack the lower lash line. All right, so now I'm ready to prime my face. I'm going in with the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. I think I say this like every video since I've bought this primer, but it is my absolute favorite. Like your makeup won't go anywhere. It's gonna stay in place. It does leave kind of like a little bit of a white-ish hue when it goes on, but you just have to make sure that you really rub it in. And also, just to let you guys know, the whitish cast is not visible at all through your makeup, or through your foundation, I should say. <laughs> and for my foundation, I'm using the uh, Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation, and I am in the color N90. So 
So one of the things that I love about this foundation is that it goes on so beautiful. It really looks like just your skin. Like you don't get that gross cakey feel with this and I love it. And they also have a pretty great selection for um, brown skin girls. So now I'm going in with my um, concealers. So I use the color Cafe right under my eyes and then right under that I'm going to use um, Armand. Okay, so now that I'm done with my concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and set this so that I don't get any creasing and my concealer stays put. So um, I don't know if you guys have anybody important in your life that is actually graduating this year, um, or if you are actually finishing high school or getting your bachelor or master's or PhD, but I do commend you guys um, and anyone else that you have in your life that's Finishing up a degree, I remember when I graduated from college and it was like the most relieving experience, you know? But my little sister is actually graduating from high school uh, this year and I'm so proud of her. I just like can't like imagine, like she's just grown up so fast, you know? Like when did it happen? <laughs> it's crazy. Um, okay, so with the contouring, I'm gonna go like super light because if you're going to a graduation, you know, I'm assuming that you don't wanna be like super, super cut with the contour. I just wanna do something really light so that my face doesn't look like washed out and stuff. So I'm also using the um, Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the color Ebony. And it's a really great drugstore bronzer. And I'm also going in along my jawline to kind of carve that out. So now it's time for that lower lash line like we were talking about. Okay, so I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Liner. It's um, smudge proof, waterproof, and this is a brown color in the color 2L. Okay, so now that we're done with the lower lash line, it's a super subtle, um, you know, like liner. And what I love about it is it doesn't like give you the overly like raccoon eyes and it doesn't emphasize the dark circles under my eyes, but it's just so beautiful and subtle, it's great. So now I'm gonna go in with my blush. I've got the NARS Dolce Vita blush right here. And I'm going in with my Morphe E4. It's an angled blush brush. And moving on, I recently purchased um, this beautiful, beautiful Becca highlight. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is in the color Topaz. And I love how it looks on my skin tone. It's perfect, you guys, perfect for um, darker skin. And then I'm also bringing it just to the top of the cheeks very lightly. But if you have textured skin, and you have pores right on the tops of your cheeks, then you might not wanna do this because this will emphasize them. But it just looks so beautiful and it's got this just like nice gold, like beautiful luminous look. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, okay, so before I forget, <laughs> I get so excited about the cheek highlight, need to highlight the nose. So I'm just gonna lightly dab topaz right along the bridge of my nose, all up. Okay, so for the lip, I'm going in with one of my favorite colors. I just can't stop using it, so I'm sorry, you guys, if you see me with this all the time, but this is the color Sepia from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is such a beautiful, beautiful nude. It's like the perfect amount of, like, 
dusty pink without looking like ashy, you know what I mean, for our skin tone. And so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, it's super neutral, but like beautiful at the same time. And if you guys want to stick around, don't forget, I got some beautiful slow-mos showing off the final look. And I just love you guys. I always want to say thank you for watching this. Thank you for subscribing. If you're totally new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!